Hi, Mrs. Mack here. Today's book is Danny in the Toy Box by Richard Tullock, illustrated by Armin Greda. I've got my two old dogs here with me to enjoy today's book. I hope you enjoy the repetition and parts of the story. You might even be able to say the word bang with me quite loudly. Danny in the Toy Box by Richard Tullock, illustrated by Armin Greda. Danny was cross. He shouted and screamed at the top of his voice. He lay on the ground and pounded with his fists and hammered with his heels. He threw his toys all over the floor and he climbed into the toy box at the end of his bedroom and said, I'm never coming out for the rest of my life. Never, never, never so there. And he slammed the lid. Bang. His little sister Emma tapped on the lid of the toy box. Please come out, Danny. Please, please, please. I need you to help me do my funny bunny jigsaw puzzle. Please, Danny, please. But Danny said no. He opened the lid just a crack and he hissed at Emma in a snaky little whisper. I'm never coming out for the rest of my life. Never, never, never so there. Then he slammed the lid. Bang. Danny's dog Rumpus scratched the lid of the toy box, whining and whimpering as if to say, Well, come on out, Danny. Let's go for a walk and you can throw sticks for me to chase and I'll find some mud to roll in. But Danny said no. He opened the lid of the toy box and growled at Rumpus in his deepest doggy voice. I'm never coming out for the rest of my life. Never, never, never so there. And he slammed the lid. Bang. By now, Danny's mother was cross too. She banged on the lid of the toy box and she said in a very stern voice, I've had just about enough of your nonsense, Danny, and if you don't come out by the time I count to three... Danny said no. He opened the lid of the toy box and said to his mother in his firmest, strictest, strictest voice, I'm never coming out for the rest of my life. Never, never, never. So there. And he slammed the lid. Bang. Now Danny's father sat down on the edge of the bed with one hand on his headache. He said, be reasonable, Danny. You'll have to come out sometime. And we're having Grandma's special treat for dessert, homemade apricot ice cream. But Danny said no. He opened the lid of the toy box and he told his father, calmly and quietly, I'm never coming out for the rest of my life. Never, 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 so there. Then he slammed the lid. Bang. A little while later, a doctor arrived with a bag of doctor instruments. She pressed her stethoscope against the side of the toy box and said in a very wise doctor voice, Well, isn't it, very, it isn't very healthy for a boy to live in a toy box, breathing stuffy air all day, and if Danny doesn't have a bath soon, his feet will stink. He should come out now. But Danny said no. He opened the lid of the toy box and explained into the end of the doctor's stethoscope, I'm never coming out for the rest of my life. Never, never, never so there. Then he slammed the lid. Bang. The fire brigade arrived. They ran through the house with their axes and their fire bell. The little firefighter stuck the end of the fire hose into Danny's toy box and called, Can I turn the water on now? But the fire chief said, Let me talk to him first. Listen here, young fellow, my lad, he said. Suppose there was a fire. A boy stuck in a toy box would be a serious fire hazard. So how about you come out now and we'll give you a ride in the fire truck? But Danny said no. He opened the lid of the toy box and made himself a megaphone with his hands and he yelled at the fire chief at the top of his voice, I'm never coming out for the rest of my life. Never, never, never so there. Then he slammed the lid. Bang. Then the old firefighter asked, well, why did Danny get into that toy box in the first place? Well, we don't know, said Danny's mother. He just gets cross sometimes, said Danny's father. 
one time when he was cross, he took his pillow under our table and slept there all night, said the little firefighter. Well, said the old firefighter, there isn't any law that says a person can't get cross and there isn't any law that says a person can't sleep under a table or live in a toy box forever if they want to. Perhaps we should just leave Danny alone. It was quiet in Danny's bedroom when everyone had gone. Danny didn't care. He was cross. He was really, really very cross. He was really very, very so extremely cross. It was all because... It was all because... It, it was because... Danny couldn't remember why he was really very, very so extremely cross. So he stopped being cross and he climbed out of the toy box. And he went off to eat some homemade apricot ice cream. <laughs>